Assalamualaikum and a good day to the examiners. Allow me to introduce myself first. My name is Nushamira Binti Azmi from LG24060. Today, I would like to present my final year project entitled uh, An Analysis of African American Vernacular English AAVE Features in the movie The Man from Toronto. This is the brief content of my presentation that I will explain one by one. So, without further ado, Let's get started with the introduction part of my research paper as this is the very, very first part of the presentation. African American Vernacular English, or often abbreviated as AAVE for short, is a variant of American English that also goes by the name Black English, Black Vernacular, Black Vernacular English, BVE, or Black English Vernacular, BEV, Negro Dialect, Negro Pidgin, Negro Creole, Negro English and non-standard Negro English. Normally, this variant of English is widely used by African Americans and some Black Canadians and it has been used since the 1960s. So, it is also associated with social linguistic aspects. In this project, the AAVE features of the protagonist, protagonist from the movie The Man from Toronto, Teddy Jackson, as played by Kevin Hart, were analyzed in terms of his grammatical aspect and syntactic structure. When talking about the grammatical markers of AAVE, most often than not, it will be associated with social linguistic aspects because it will help to explain why AAVE has its own set of linguistic features. So, what are linguistic features and why is it associated with social linguistics? Linguistics is a branch of study that deals with aspects of human language, such as syntax, phonology, phonetics, semantics, pragmatics, and morphology. In the case of this paper, the linguistic feature examined from the movie was syntax. Syntax is basically the arrangement of words and phrases to create well-formed sentences in a language, which is also a subdivision of grammar. On the other hand, sociolinguistics is the study of language and society. According to Holmes 2013, the use of language can be uh, can be marked as one's identity in a society. For example, AAVE is the symbol of African American of those blue collar workers and those who are a middle class. Although its main function is to indicate identity, AAVE is celebrated worldwide that even non-African people are using it nowadays. Besides, the entertainment industry, prominently, such as the filmmakers, also celebrate the use of AAVE and acknowledge this English variant, widely as can be seen, in this 2022 motion picture, The Man from Toronto. It cannot be denied that every research paper is produced due to answering the research gap which may not be available in previous researches or uh, they were discussed previously but not not in a thorough manner in that sense the production of this paper is significant to linguistics because of most studies of most studies on aave in the past years and even the recent ones were done on old movies such as bad boy which was released on 1995 and Shrek in 2001. The need to conduct a study on recent movies that utilized AAVE is because language evolves. So, the latest study on AAVE based on the newest movie that used, that used AAVE will help showing the development of English variant through syntactic features and structure over the year. Furthermore, they there was no, there is no articles there is no article conducted study that have conducted study on AAVE aspects um, through means of syntax visual representation, which is the syntax tree diagrams. Hence, this opportunity is taken to produce a research paper of AAVE features in a two thousand twenty two movie based on a 2022 movie with the aim to answer the following research questions which are the first one what are the syntactic features of AAVE displayed by Teddy Jackson in the movie and second what is the difference between the sentence structure of AAVE and standard English 
as produced by TD through through the means of syntax tree diagrams. In this section, the theoretical framework used to conduct this research will be explained first. The framework on the grammatical features of AAVE was produced by Rick Freight 1999, Wolfram 2004, and Green 2002, and is mostly used in many studies uh, within the same line, in the same line. So by the same line, it denotes that many AAVE analysis were done on a work of fiction, especially films and short stories. Short stories. Although the references are from the older years, the framework stays reasonable and valid. It was employed by latest research on the same topic, such as Presetio in 2019, in which his research is about AAV's grammar in the movie Django Unchanged. That he also based his framework from Rick Fred 1999 and Wolf from 2004. While Hal Godson in 2001 used the framework from the same researchers and combined it with Green 2002 for her AAV's grammatical features research uh, in the movie Sex Toplets. Other examples of research papers that refer to the same framework are Abdul Wahid Ramdani in his 2019 paper for the movie Fruitvale Station. Antara et al. in 2018 in their analysis for the movie Akila and the Bee, Sun and Lei in 2018 in their work for the film Crash, and lastly, Angrini et al. in 2018 with their analysis on the 2001 movie, which is Shrek. Apart from their sources for theoretical framework, the previous studies by Sari 2019 Sun and Lee 2018 and Angrini Ethel 2018, they have found that the explanation of distinct grammatical features of AAVE in movies are normally explained by its association with social linguistics aspects. Next, in the past studies as well, uh, they used uh, the, the past studies in this literature review part, the similar grammatical markers. Uh, found are the use of ain't to replace the be verb, the omission of auxiliary verbs, multiple negations, and more. Lastly, although previous studies did not have a research paper that conduct study for both uh, for both grammatical aspects of AAVE together with syntax tree diagrams, but uh, they are previous study on the syntactic analysis of samplings through syntax tree diagrams that has proven second that has proven um, the second research questions question to compare AAVE and standard English of Teddy's utterances is actually feasible. This is because all categories of English English sentences can be classified into its part of speech using the structure rule of syntax tree diagrams and this is as stated by Slamet and Solist Solistian C in 2019 for their work that also analyzed the syntax tree diagrams. In order to answer the research questions, the best methodology was picked to ensure that the outcome of the research will be relevant and significant. Therefore, a qualitative approach was employed as the research design for this paper. There are a few examples of qualitative research such as one-on-one -on -one interviews focus groups, ethnographic research, case study research, record keeping, and qualitative observation. In this project, a qualitative observation was used alongside the coding scheme sheet as the tools to derive the aim of this study in identifying the syntactic markers of AAVE in this movie. With that being said, the instrument for this research is content analysis, which was used to determine the presence of certain words theme, or even concepts within the data obtained from the utterances of Teddy Jackson in the movie The Man from Toronto. Therefore, the presence of syntactic features of AAVE were recognized through content analysis. As this research was done qualitatively with uh, no interview sessions and the likes, so there is no need for uh, sample size. In exchange for that, however, 
it calls for plenty of examples to enrich the data, which can help to increase the reliability and validity of the study. In alignment with the specific use of movie as the sampling of this study, the sampling technique used was purposive sampling. Purposive sampling can be denoted as the sample chosen on purpose because it has the characteristics that the researcher needs in, uh, in, his, in his or her study. Hence, it will help to answer the research questions. In acquiring the data for the study, the script of the movie was observed to highlight the synthetic markers of AAVE found in the movie, which were, be, which were inserted into the coding scheme sheet letter. For the analysis part, the movie script was examined to find out the features of AAVE synthetic structure in the utterances of Teddy. Next, the AAVE markers were sorted in the coding scheme sheet according to their respective group, such as negative forms and completive time. By doing so, the findings will be more organized and more systematic. Based on the data collected and analyzed, the findings were put into a donut chart to show the proportion of each category found in the utterances of Teddy in the movie The Man from Toronto clearly. From the study, it can be concluded that negative forms, as one example of syntactic features of AAVE, has the highest appearance throughout Teddy's utterances in the movie with 55.3%. However, negative forms can be further divided into three subdivisions, which are uh, the use of int to replace the auxiliary verb be, have, and do, double negation as in using two negative words together in a sentence, which is does not and no, and negative inversion in a sentence, usually with negative auxiliary or modal, such as cannot and ain't. Next, the finding indicates that the second most used form of AAVE was copula zero, which is the absence of auxiliary verb be with 18.4%. Uh, next in line is subject-verb agreement with 13.2%. Wrong order of subject-verb in question formation with 10.5% occurrence. And lastly, the least used syntactic feature of AAVE in the speeches of Teddy is completive done with only 2.6%. This is because the rest of his utterances uh, using the correct form of auxiliary verb have to indicate completed action, completed action instead of using completive done. In answering the second research question, which is to compare the sentence structure of AAVE and Standard English produced by Teddy uh, through syntax tree diagrams, the objective was achieved as shown in the following table. In this example, an excerpt of Teddy's speech during mini 48 and 25 seconds was taken to showcase the use of copula absence. Copula absence or zero copula is the ditching of the auxiliary verb be in the sentence structure of AAVE. As can be seen in table 4.6, the utterances that simple is marked under CB which indicates the absence of the B verb. Meanwhile, the standard English column included the missing B verb. To show this difference vividly, the sentences were transferred into syntax tree diagrams with the AAVE form on the left and standard English on the right hand side. Based on, based on the tree diagrams, the AAVE sentence is missing the modal or auxiliary verb, which is used to indicate the tenses of the sentence. Besides, uh, this sentence lacks the subject verb agreement because logically the subject this is a singular and is supposed to be followed by a singular verb but the omission of the be verb makes makes the syntactic structure of AAVE sentence to be invalid according to the syntax rules. On the other hand, standard English applies the correct syntactic structure to make the sentence become logical with the existence of subject, verb, and object. In this instance, the be verb is was shown to fill in the missing part in the AAVE sentence that omitted, omitted out the copula B. From the findings of the study, there are two outstanding discoveries worth discussing. Firstly, according to the framework of syntactic characteristics of AAVE as formulated by Wolfram and Schilling Estes 2006 and Green in 2002, 
originally originally there are six of them which includes negative forms the absence of copula subject verb agreement question formation completive done and invariant or habitual be however this invariant be was omitted from uh, this research paper because it was not present in any of Teddy's speeches throughout the movie. Invariant or habitual B is interpreted similarly similarly to those with the adverbs often and usually to convey that an event happens frequently or habitually. Hence, the name habitually B. Nevertheless, the AAVE form will replace the adverbs often and usually with B. For example, the sentence I be in my office by 70 is the AAVE version of I am usually in my office by 70 of the standard English. So according to Angrini et al. 2018, in their analysis of AAVE in the 2001 movie Shrek, invariant or habitual B is mostly, mostly employed by youngsters' speech. Therefore, it is significant that Teddy Jackson which is a middle-aged middle -aged man, did not use invariant B in his speech because as the native speaker gets older, they will either reduce this feature or stop using it altogether. The same example was portrayed in the study of Angrini et al. 2018 as invariant B or habitual B is absent in the movie Shrek. Secondly, almost all of the study done on grammatical features of AAVE from a motion picture has a higher frequency of the marker negative forms instead of the other cat categories. This is evident in this paper as well because according to Sun and Lee in 2018, negative forms such as the use of ain't, double negation, and negative inversion, they signal the uniqueness of African American and it shows the social class of TV. The same findings were reported were reported in the research on the same topic by Sari 2019 in the analysis of AAVE in the short story The Lesson, Agrini Apple 2018 in Shrek and Sex Toplets movie analyzed by Hal Godson in 2021. Apart from the not not worthy findings, this section will talk about the significance of the findings which will contribute to the understanding of linguistics and English language department uh, English language department students because they can refer to this paper as as a reference to better understand a standout English variant that is widely used um, nationwide <clears throat> and globally which is AAVE in addition this paper will aid people in the professional careers of the creative industry to put the correct showcase of the use of AAVE in the form more naturally by understanding the distinctive fit the distinctive features of AAVE linguistically and sociolinguistically. Lastly, this paper will help the multinational society to live in harmony with those native speakers of AAVE because they can understand the dialect. So they can understand why they they have uh, AAVE have has a different set of linguistics. As this presentation is nearing to an end, future research should consider to lessen lessen the gaps of research on similar topics by changing the research design. So instead of instead of using a qualitative approach, future research might use a quantitative approach or maybe mixed method to conduct the research. Besides consider changing the sample of the study so instead of using a movie alone maybe they can change the researcher can change into other non-scripted shows such as vlogs because vlogs of a native AAVE speaker will show the natural way of how the, the uh, native speakers using AAVE in, in real life context next the researcher can also focus on other linguistic features of apart from grammar and syntax. Finally, as the data collection of this research paper did not utilize NVivo 
future research should try to use this software to help organize their data properly. In conclusion, the analysis of AAVE features in the movie The Man from Toronto, which is um, this paper, is one of the many studies conducted on similar topics of AAVE features, which has which, which still has many room for improvement. Therefore, this paper can be used for future future reference um, as a betterment of the next research in the field of linguistics and English language. And with that, this presentation has come to an end. I will wrap up this presentation with my last words, which is thank you for listening. Appreciate ya. Yeah.